so good evening everyone here in the section we are going to see about the company name e2 open its recruitment process and where you can apply what are all the eligibility criteria and what type of questions you can expect in interviews so the company name is e2 open and this is the official website of this particular company that is e2open.com and if you observe this uh, website you will be able to see like many options here where you can check about the careers as well so if you click on this about the company you can see about the company then you can see their values their careers and etc so in this in the careers you can search for the jobs which is currently hiring or currently available and uh, you can check if it is matching with your skill set you can apply for the same so for uh, freshers the job role is going to be associate software engineer and the educational qualification is b or uh, b tech b computer science and uh, mca so all these uh, uh, what educational qualification is eligible here so the category it will be coming under it jobs only so the job role is associate software engineer and the educational qualification is be so either uh, freshers as well as experience can apply for this particular role apart from that mca and uh, btech students can also apply for the same and the technical requirements for this particular role is you should have a basic knowledge of sql python oops concepts and you should have a basic knowledge in the stlc process uh, and all this so how you will be applying for this e2 open recruitment 2023 years so here you can see once you log in into the official website e2open.com in the home page at the top of the home page you can see the menu right or you can see the company where you will be able to see the career page so i'm just opening the career page now here you can open and explore the opportunities of the current positions so current opening links is there so now here you can select e2 open software engineer openings you can select so a page will be open where you can complete the details carefully and at last you will be getting the apply button for completing the registration process so where you can do it out and basically in the interview round the questions will be asked on oops concept or database management systems and the project which you done so you should have a good knowledge on your project and you should know the complete ins and outs of your project so technical interview and managerial interview were uh, based on the basics of java and oops concept or sql and in the first round right first round is a technical round which uh, will be containing the questions from java oops concepts and sql Uh, say for example what is a class in object oriented concept what is the difference between encapsulation and uh, abstraction so uh, give me any real time application of abstraction so what are the types of inheritances in java so what is a uh, this keyword so entirely it is going to be the oops concepts and uh, sql concept all right so first round is going to be the online mcq test where you can expect questions from sql so basics of sql or data structures or oops concepts so among these concepts you can expect mcqs and then in the second round will be like a technical interview round so where uh, some maybe coding question can be asked or else again the concepts will be same based on these things only the interview will be called so the first round basic questions related to oops sql dbms as well as your college project and in the previous year this round went for around 50 minutes so i repeat in round 1 you can expect questions from oops sql dbms and this particular round went for 50 minutes say for example in oops what is inheritance polymorphism encapsulation uh, different types of constructors why java is platform dependent how multiple inheritances are achieved in java 
so like this examples questions you can uh, expect and in dbms what is the difference between unique key and uh, primary key so what is normalization denormalization so all these kind of questions and then the project so uh, which project you have worked on right so that uh, project related questions and uh, if you done with any internship uh, the questions based on your internship and round 2 and 3 way was based on data structures and algorithm so where uh, they will be asking uh, you to write the code for the particular question right so it will go around uh, for one hour uh the famous uh, algorithm questions like rat in a maze problem egg dropping puzzle like so using greedy algorithm backtracking algorithm or mathematical algorithm string algorithms so you will be able to expect questions based on these algorithm like how to generate all the permutation of a given string so these questions you can uh, expect and in the final round it is a managerial round where uh, uh, they will be asking about your uh, uh, bio data like personal information your resume uh, based questions and no technical questions will be asked your resume based uh, or resume related things will be asked in round 4 so this this have, so they won't expect you to write the exact code but they will check how you are implementing your logic so how efficiently you are doing the code so that is something which is very important so make sure you prepare accordingly and this is official website where you can go and check for the uh, current openings and you can apply for the 